and welcome to Cats Love, and today I'm telling you why cats are seriously smart. You may think, what are you talking about? Cats aren't smart, my cat eats plastic. Well, cats might seem unintelligent, but this video is here to prove that cats are actually smarter than you think. My cat, Whiskey, seems to be the exact opposite of intelligent. He lays around, poops, and every once in a while will get very, very scared and mad at his own shadow. Yep, you heard me right. My cat thinks that his own shadow and really whatever shadow he comes across is an evil being out to get him. And whenever he sees a shadow, he will run up to it, start swatting it like he's fighting for his life against his own shadow. Anyway, the first reason why cats are way smarter than you think is that over time, cats have adapted more of a better sense of direction in their environment around them. Cats have nearly 300 million neurons in their brain, but the cool thing is, is cats can learn just as quickly or even faster than humans. So cats and us have a similar number of connections within those neurons, so cats think and learn just as much as we do. So basically what that means is that it is scientifically proven that cats can and probably do learn faster than us humans. The second reason why cats are ultra big brain is just that their sense of direction is so complex and I, I can't even explain to you how smart a cat is when it comes to their environment and their sense of direction. These animals are probably the most smart and the most complex when it comes to navigating their environments, which is pretty cool. First of all, it is cats' natural instinct to be really good at finding their way back home if they are lost. Let's do an example. So let's say that your cat has hypothetically just wandered over to the next city, which is, let's say it is about 30 minutes away. If your cat wants to go back home, then on the way there to the city, the cat will take mental photographs of landmarks that stand out to the cat. So if your cat hypothetically walks from your property down to your neighbor's yard on their way there, they will take a picture in their head of anything that stands out to the cat. So let's say on their way there, they see a big tree that is very recognizable. They will take a mental image of that. Uh, on their way there, they see a, a dirt pile. They, they will make sure that when they are on their way back that they remember what they walked past so that way they know a route back home. That was all improvised and that's because I just simply can't explain how smart cats are when it comes to this subject. So just take my word for it and know that even the most unintelligent cats have some of the most complex brains and honestly smart when it comes to navigating their environment. Cats will also make a mental map of your area. So if your outside cat wanders around, they will basically make sure that they have all of their territory and all of your property mapped out inside of their heads. So basically if they get lost, they can just whip out the good old map out of their brain and hmm. Oh yes, I'm inside of the creek outside of my human's house. Let me just go back this way. Cats are also very good at telling the time and direction with the help from the sun. Cats basically use old time sun technology to figure out what time of day it is and which points are north, west, east, and south. Basically what we used to do when we didn't have compasses and phones and all this cool technology. Cats basically learn and do what we did back in the day. Except in the year 2052 when cats get their own smartphones that uh, knowledge will probably be dropped. So basically cats have a mental sun compass which in my opinion is super cool. I really do think we underestimate how smart a cat is. I mean. Heck, some researchers say that cats can sense the Earth's magnetic fields, and that's how cats find their way home from long distances. Cats will commonly also mark their territories. If your cat isn't neutered, they'll usually spray. If they are, then they'll rub or headbunt their areas. This basically helps the cat confirm their location and to navigate their territory. When a cat is born, they will explore their surroundings extensively. By the time the cat has reached its adult phase, it will know every nook and cranny in that area where they were born in. Cats usually gain their knowledge right when they're born and they use that to help learn their surroundings. Of course, the kit needs to open its eyes and be able to walk first, but y you get what I mean. Now, outside cats will learn your property and the area surrounding it, and whenever they get comfortable enough, they will learn your area and to basically learn how to get back to that property when they get lost. 
if you hear any ringing, I am currently cat sitting right now, and uh, he has a collar that has a bell on it, so he's kind of ring a ding dinging all over my room right now. Hi. Now you might be saying, well, yeah, that's good for the cat that it can learn that and to learn your home so they can come back to it. How could that be bad for the cat? Well, what if you move? What if when you bring your outdoor cat to your new property, it gets scared or lost and runs back to your old property? The cat will remember the landmarks, scents, and the path to the previous property, so they'll probably go back to the old property where you no longer live instead of the new one. Which could lead to your cat being confused and without an owner. This is a problem that actually happens to people. When I try moving over to my property right now and bringing my four orange cats who lived and was born in the previous property, they didn't really like that. Two of them ended up staying with me and the other two ended up running back to the old property. We ended up finding one of our lost cats and tried to bring him back here. And after about a day or so, he ended up leaving back to the old property because he's more familiar with it. And I mean, heck, I don't blame him. He lived there all his life. So, yeah, you know, your cat might just not want to come with you. So they'll go back to the old property. That's what happened with my cats. It really sucked. Plus, cats can have errors when navigating and learning. Kind of like us. Cats are very intelligent creatures, but they aren't infallible. Cats can and most definitely will make mistakes, and I really don't feel like that should change our outlook on how we view their knowledge. The only reason why this video is really a thing is because I feel like we really underestimate how smart cats are, and cats' social media reputation are, they are basically known to be unintelligent, wacky, and funny, but I mean that they can have that reputation, but I feel like people will see that and view cats as uh, very unintelligent and just dumb creatures, but in reality, they are very complex, smart, and I honestly want to know more about them, but scientists have chosen to research dogs over cats, which is why some very important cat topics don't really have a lot of covering because scientists would rather study dogs. I just don't want anybody taking this video as me basically saying that cats are smarter than all the other pets out there and that you should get a cat for how smart they are, which it, my response is that's not what I'm doing. I'm just trying to bring attention to how smart cats are because I feel like the reputation that they're given as being dumb intellectual creatures are a little bit misleading and downplaying their actual smarts. Oh, you are heavy. This is Wiggy. You've probably seen him before in a couple videos, but usually I mention him. I mentioned him just a couple minutes ago, but you're intelligent, aren't you? Yes, you are. Look at his long whiskers. He's so cute. He just woke up. I'm going to put you back down. Cats aren't perfect, but we love them for who they are. Thanks for watching. This video was supposed to be out a couple days ago, but I got super busy and then I got sick and I, I kind of needed to push it back a little bit, but I am releasing two videos this week and this is one out of two. So stay tuned for here in a couple days because I'll be talking about Cream Puffs Diet. I'm really excited to do that video. I did really good on the script, I think, and I'm just really excited for you guys to see the video because I'm gonna be talking about the oldest cat that has ever lived in her diet. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then I would recommend watching the oldest cat that ever lived video that I uploaded about five months ago. I'm doing like a five month later part two, if that makes any sense. But until then, thanks for watching. This has been Cat's Love. See you next episode. He's just a big brain boy, huh? He's so smart. He just eat, go poo in the litter box, do all that big brain activities, don't you? You're so smart.